State and local governments all across the country are having to scale back to deal with huge budget shortfalls. So why are some government workers still raking in lavish salaries? Here's NBC's George Lewis. He is perhaps the poster boy for public servants with hefty paychecks. Robert Rizzo, former city manager of Bell, California, had been earning $800,000 a year. Now he's in jail as part of a huge public corruption case. Since the arrests of Rizzo and four members of the city council, communities all over the country are looking at the pay of their public officials. I think it is surprising that, you know, at, at the time when these cities and, and local and state governments are crying poor, that the people, you know, in many of the top positions are being paid very, very well. When the MSNBC.com website invited the public to send in examples of supersized government paychecks, over a thousand people responded with tips that the site then verified. In Phoenix, Police Chief Jack Harris retired three years ago, receiving a one-time payment of $562,000 and an annual pension of $90,000. But then the city rehired him as public safety manager at a base salary of $193,000 a year. In Las Vegas, a place well known for its high rollers, some of the city's firefighters make between $181,000 and $500,000 a year. The mayor is demanding pay cuts, but hasn't gotten very far. Now we have a budget, but the budget is a disastrous one as far as I'm concerned. In Los Angeles, the LA Times published a list of 199 county workers who make at least $250,000 a year. This at a time when state and local governments can ill afford lavish salaries. States have seen a collapse in revenues that's unprecedented. They've never seen a decline in revenues as large as what they're facing now. And states and cities are also facing angry taxpayer backlashes over how the money is being spent. For today, George Lewis, NBC News, Los Angeles.